hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here you are highly welcome and thank you so much to all my returning subscribers you guys are awesome thank you once again please don't forget to put on your notification bell so that whenever i post you will find the video on time okay guys today i will be sharing something i discovered with you and i found it i think useful and i feel it will help me in this 2023 so i was actually i actually came across a video on youtube and i clicked on it then there was not this advert this man came up and was like how you can read your bible in a year different plans and i'm like okay let's see so first thing he said, you can read the Bible in 365 days. That is reading for 15 minutes per day. Then he said, you can read the Bible for two hours every day. I'm like, huh? Two hours? Esther, can you do two hours? <laughs> I should even be able to do more than two hours because this is God's word we are talking about. But don't mind me. God, please help me. Then he now said, you can read it for an hour. I like uh, this works for me i think i can try this one i'm not sure about being that consistent i'm trusting god for grace to be consistent because it's by his grace we can do all this so i was like okay if i do 30 minutes in the morning i do 30 minutes in the evening that is one hour per day then he also says something that made me happy because i'm someone that i like audio if you want me to do stuff if you, if you want to give me a book to read, give me an audio book. I can listen to that thing over and over again without any stress. But he says that carry and be reading. I want to be hearing something. So when he said that, he said you can read with an audio, but make sure you are following the letters. Or like, yeah, that is good. So I downloaded your version. I use the good news translation and all that. And he also said something. He said, look for some friends so you can be accountable i've actually told two of my brothers told my dad about the plan and i think my dad started i'm not sure me i've started and i feel it's working and i'm learning a lot so in today's video actually i want to show you my experience but before i show you my experience i want to show you something i did i hope this works i hope i'm consistent so i took this paper and rolled it and i'll have 62 days here the paper is not enough to do 90 days when it's full i'll flip it over, over to the next page and continue so what i did in each box here i wrote each day so on the first day any day you read you start that day then you write the chapters you read and the best thing to do is when you start a book make sure you finish it and you write it down so that by the time your whole paper is full you will know whether you're able to finish the Bible or you keep you, you miss some parts. So I the one I did Song of Solomon and I did Psalms. I could not finish so what I did that I wrote the chapter I stopped for that day and I'm going to continue because this is day two. So today I'm reading from Psalm 10 to 34. I actually read Psalm 10 to 34 and I just want to bring out things I learned from this Bible because another thing about reading the Bible is that in the Bible says the letter kill it the spirit the spirit give it life you must read with the eyes of your understanding being open don't just read the Bible because you want to cover it read it because you want to learn you want to hear from God you want to receive direction so today I just felt I should note down what I'm learning and things I plan to do Things that reached out to me and I feel I should share it with you guys so let's start so the first one the first note is that the promises of the Lord can be trusted the promises of the Lord can be trusted Oh when I heard this you know like yeah his promises can be trusted we just started the year 2023 and we have all gotten word for the year from different places. Those words are not carnal words. They can be trusted as far as they are the word of God. They can be trusted. You need to put them to practice. They have spoken them over you. If you do nothing about it, it will remain in there. So God's promise can be trusted. I don't want this video to be long. Let me be fast. 
Uh -huh. I've not even finished that. But it says they are genuine as silver refined seven times in the furnace. That is Psalm 12, verse 6. They are as, as genuine as silver that has been put in fire seven times. Seven is a number of perfection. So you can say the word of God is perfect. It does not have any mistake. You don't need to add, you don't need to reduce, and all that. So the next place that got to me, this one I put it, I said for Nigeria. It's for my dear country. I'm so, so excited about 2023 because I just believe that this year should be a year that things turn around for our nation and all that. So I got this scripture for Nigeria. That is Psalm 14 verse 7. It says, How I pray that victory will come to Israel. In bracket, I wrote Nigeria from Zion. How happy the people of Nigeria will be when the Lord makes them prosperous again. Father, we thank you because, yes, victory is coming to Nigeria. We are rejoicing. We are excited about 2023. Say, so how happy will the people be when their nation prospers again? How excited I will be when my nation prospers again? All this jackpot thing. We don't need to jackpot once he pro Nigeria prospers. So this is a scripture for Nigeria, and I'm going to stand on it and keep speaking and all that. Another Psalms that got to me is Psalm 25, verse 2. It said, In you, my Lord, I trust. In you, my Lord, I trust. Save me from shame. S save me from shame and defeat. It says, Save me from shame and defeat. Don't let my enemies glut over me. He said, defeat does not come to those who trust in you, but to those who rebel against you. In this year, you must learn to trust God because when you trust God, defeat cannot come your way. So he says, God, deliver me from shame or defeat. That's one thing you can speak in God. Deliver me from shame and defeat. And he will do it. It is his word. If he has said it, then he will do it. Amen. Another place is, this one is, I, I think I didn't even write the scripture. But I, let me just read it out to us. Okay, it's, it's still the same Psalm 25 verse 4 says. Guys, let me say something about this verse. While I was serving... There was just this hunger for me to stay away. Just take yourself to a secret place and all that. So I began to, I, I declared a fast. And as I was fasting, I, as I was praying, the Spirit of God just led me to pray, to keep praying this prayer. Lord, teach me your ways. Teach me your ways. Because I'm like, I don't want to do things my ways again. I'm tired. I want to do what you want me to do. I don't want to run this life by myself. And I think that is when the, 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 the desire to accomplish purpose came to me that I don't want to get to heaven and they are like, you lived well, but this is not what I asked you to do. I'm like, huh? So I began to say, God, teach me your ways. And I didn't even have a scripture. I was just praying that prayer. I prayed that prayer like clothing. But I'm so glad as a result of my Bible reading, I found this scripture. So it says, teach me your ways, O Lord. And make me and make them known to me. Teach me your ways, O oh Lord, and make them known to me. Show me what I should do. Show me the right step to take at a time. Teach me. He said, Teach me to live according to your word, O oh Lord. Teach me to live according to your word. Teach me to live according to your plan. Amen. In this 2023, we have to live according to the word of the Lord. We have to live according to his plan. And we need to get to a place where we humble ourselves and say, God, I'm tired of living life for myself. I want you to teach me. Run this year with God and you will not regret. Now, the last verse for today, I mean, the last chapter I want to share is from Psalm 33 verse 4. It says, the word of the Lord is true. And his works are dependable. One thing you need to understand in 2023 is that the words of God are true. And his works are dependable. God has done miracles in the past. 
He is the God of the past, present, and future. His words are true. If he has said it, then he will do it. He has a track record of keeping his word. He's not about to stop doing it right now. He can't stop doing miracles when it has come to your turn. No. So, this year, you have to learn to believe God for his word. Because his words are true. They are dependable. They come to pass. Amen. Okay, guys, thank you so much for spending time with me. Like I said, I just started this Bible plan and I want to encourage you to join me on this journey. Let's see how we can study our Bible better. I tell you, 24 hours is given to everybody, but the people that I used to achieve so much, so much, is all about planning your time and all that. So please, try this with me. Let's see how it it works for all of us so that at the end of 2023 we look back and we're like yes i grew spiritually i'm not the same remember you can't want a change and, and keep doing things the way you have been doing them before you have to change so 2023 change your study pattern choose to put god first the bible says seek for his kingdom and every other thing shall be added thank you so much god bless you see you in my next video bye